So here's my Rest Top 2.0. I redesigned from my first version. Uh, the monitor mounts right on here, right on the plastic. It's a lot slimmer, a lot more efficient compared to my other one. You can see that this one is just huge, takes up a lot of plastic, bulky, um, and it wasn't just efficient. It wasn't efficient. It took nine and a half hours to print, whereas the other one takes four and a half hours to print. So this one takes four and a half hours. And it's open it up, and you can see that each component has a smaller area that fits perfect, and it's it made screw holes and everything. Right here, I used a 3D pen to uh, mount the 12 volt uh, plug. And this one, my new one, I was I got a little better in my designing skills, so I made it fit in there nice and snug, and it won't come out. So all in all, just a better design than my earlier one. So this is the how-to video, how to put it together. This I'm gonna, let's talk about the wiring. So right here in my hand right now is the LM2596 so it has a 12 volt input right here so 12 volts go into it goes to that LM2596 chip which steps down the voltage to 5 volts which then goes into the Raspberry Pi uh, via the U micro USB and right here is also 12 volts so it splits off before it goes into that LM2596 and that's the power for the monitor. Uh, I did a video on how to adjust this so if you want to see that I'll leave the link down below and we're gonna go ahead and begin with the Raspberry Pi. Now the reason why I use the micro USB is because it can handle more amps through its USB via the pin, or versus the pins. The pins can't handle as many amps through their uh, the Raspberry Pi's USB for some reason. I don't know why that is. I haven't looked at the wiring di diagram. So I use the micro USB so it can throw more power to the board. Now we're going to start out with mounting and uh, screwing in the Raspberry Pi. Everything should fit flush and the screws should go right in. And I'm using screws from Amazon. And now that we're, now we got it screwed in, we're gonna go ahead and put the wires in. And here's the micro and here's the monitor and it's gonna go through this little square opening that I left, big enough to shove wires through. And we're gonna pull it tight until that LM2596 chip fits right on those four holes. Now there's two spots to screw in. There's one spot right here and the other spot right there. Okay, now that we got the LM2596 screwed in, we're gonna pull those wires tight. And now we're going to put in the 12 volts, the little adapter for the 12 volt. This is an RC adapter that I use. I use this type of plug for everything. Push it in and then it's nice and snug and tight. It's not going to go anywhere. It should be flush with the plastic. Now this piece, this piece is where the wires went for the micro USB and the LCD. So you're going to put that little notch into the wiring, the wires right here. And you can see there's a little hinge right there where you put the longer part of this little piece. And what this does is it kind of helps lock in the wires and it also fills in the, the gap, this, the rectangle that I left there. And it just, it, it mainly just looks nicer and it also helps hold those wires in. Now 
So once that's secured, next we're gonna grab our switch. How this switch works and how most of these three prong switches work. You got a supply, you got a uh, negative, and you got a load. So right here is our positive, the farthest to the right. And then that's where our 12 volt input is going to go in first. Then the center, or the, ne or the farthest left is the negative. And then the center is where our wire that goes to our LM2596 and to our monitor is going to go. That's the load. So we're going to go ahead and place it in and we're going to screw it in tight. Once it's screwed in tight, we're going to go ahead and start with the bottom, which is our negative, and we're going to place the little hinge or the little uh, the place the wire on the the button. With these uh, adapters, they should slide right in. Next, we're going to grab our load. It should slide right in. And then our supply. Now that all of our wires are in, now we're gonna kinda clean up and put the wire all the wires in the box. Now we're gonna test it before we put it on the top. We're going to take a multimeter and make sure that our LM2596 is going to reduce the power. Uh, we're just going to check this all the wiring before we plug any power into our device. That way we don't fry nothing. I'm using a 12 volt battery. Uh, we're going to test the battery first. Looks like 12.71, that's good. Now I'm going to test the input of the step down volter, voltage chip. So we'll test the input and make sure it's 12.71. Oh, we got it in the off position, so we're gonna go ahead and switch it on. All right, 12.71 and then I already made the adjustment, so this should be 5 volts, 5.17, that's good, perfect. Go ahead and plug in the Raspberry Pi, and we're going to go ahead and plug in the monitor as well, and do a quick test before we put the top on. Okay. I see the Raspberry Pi is blinking and the monitor turned on. No signal because we don't have the HDMI in there. That's fine. All right, the little test was good. Just unplug everything. And I notice there's a lot of excess wire out. So instead of cutting it, I have plenty of room in the actual the RAS top that I could just pull the wire through and then plug it in. Now you can go through the pin and not even have to do this this part, but I just like to use the micro USB as power. Now we're good. We're gonna check everything. Everything looks good and we can go ahead and put uh, the top on now alright the top is on now I got these screws from Amazon uh, and we're gonna take three screws I only did three screws for the top because the Raspberry Pi is in the one, uh, the left corner and we don't really need to do any more than that. So now that we got our screws in, 
we're gonna go ahead and screw in the monitor. And so how this monitor works is it has this long screw. And I made a screw hole on the actual rest top. So then this monitor, uh, the screw slides in through the monitor, through the rest top, and we can tighten it and lock it in place just like this. And I'll leave this, I'll, I'll put this, post this monitor where you could get this type of monitor. And I also made two versions of this where it doesn't have this monitor mount and it's just flat. That way, if you want to just plug it in your TV, you can do that as well. So now once we have this monitor screwed in, we're going to tighten it up and then that way we can angle it whichever way we want. And now for the final test. So we're going to plug in power. Plug in the monitor power, which is also 12 volt. And the Raspberry Pi is already plugged in. Now HDMI. HDMI. Go ahead and switch the power on. Everything is working. All right. I'm using Cal Linux. And so here is my version of the rest top. 